Hey guys this is Ganshim welcome to the world trending news subscribe our channel for more updates. Billy Joe Shaver, seminal outlaw country songwriter, dead at 81, best known as the songwriter of Waylon Jennings' 1973 album Honky Tonk Heroes The Colorful Texas Raconteur, had his songs recorded by Willie Nelson, Elvis Presley, Billy Joe Shaver, the outlaw country music pioneer who wrote some of the genre's greatest songs, died Wednesday in Waco, Texas, after suffering a stroke. He was 81. Connie Nelson, a friend of Shaver's, confirmed his death to Rolling Stone. Shaver's hard-lived career classics included Honky Tonk Heroes Georgia on a Fast Train Old Five and Dimers Like Me and Live Forever. He wrote 10 out of the 11 songs on Waylon Jennings' 1973 outlaw country breakthrough Honky Tonk Heroes, Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, and Elvis Presley all recorded his songs, and in 2010, Willie Nelson called him the greatest living songwriter. Shaver lived the outlaw lifestyle that others only sang about. In 2007, he was charged with shooting a man in the face at a bar near his home in Waco. The trial drew friends including Nelson and the actor Robert Duvall in support of Shaver, who was ultimately found not guilty. Born in Coruscant, Texas, on August 16, 1939, Shaver was raised by his mother, Victory, and would later leave town to find a job working at a honky-tonk in Waco. He would often accompany his mother to her job at the local nightclub, where he became exposed to country music. In the early 60s, Shaver moved to Houston and frequented a club called The Old Quarter, where he met Towns Van Zant. They became drinking buddies, and their friendship led him to Nashville. He scored an apprenticeship for Harlan Howard and then a job working for Bobby Bear. Shaver recorded and toured up until his death. Just this past January, he joined Tanya Tucker on stage at Nashville's Ryman Auditorium to perform I'm Just an Old Chunk of Coal, and in 2014, he released his final album, Long in the Tooth. Shaver professed his lifelong commitment to the trade of songwriting in an interview with Rolling Stone that year. Not everyone can be dedicated to it. I'm a songwriter first and then whatever else I do second I enjoy the heck out of entertaining and I enjoy all the aspects of what comes with it, but the song is like the cheapest psychiatrist there is Shaver said. And I pretty much need one all the time. Ganshyam, thanks for watching our video. If you want to further information regarding world trending news, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon and like and share with your family. Thank you very much for watching our video. Thank you.